Okay, a couple of uses uh, were curious as to uh, the results using the Sencore CR70 to test the uh, Zenith 19CXP4 CRT. So I've gone ahead and uh, connected it here. It uses a socket adapter C. The tube is lighting. I've had it on a couple minutes. And this time we're using the BNK465. I've gone ahead and set my controls, the 19CXP4, 6.3 adapter C, and G2 is 45, and G1, 28 to 50. 45 on G2, 28 to 50. 45 on G2, 28 to 50. I've got it at 30. So, quickly we just check for shorts. Emission does say good. Let me set cutoff first. Mm. It's low, but it's in the good. So it, it's in line with what the uh, Sencor, after adjusting cutoff here. Cutoff is supposed to be just one division. This is 28, so I can't even do 28. Wait a minute, let me just look again. CXP4, 28 to 50. Don't put it about. I'll set it at 28 there. Let me verify. 28 to 50 on the G1. That's correct. Okay, and 45. 45 on the G2. 45 on the G2. 28 to 50 on G1. 28 to 50. Oh, so, okay. 28 to 50 on G1. I can't set cut off. 45. This is a strange one. 19 CXP4 G2 45. G1, 28 to 50. It's hard to set cutoff, so I'll, if I leave it at 50, Really hard to say. This tube is strange. This tube is strange. Forty-five. Let me get you some. Nineteen CXP four right there. Six point three C. Forty-five twenty-eight to fifty. Forty-five on the G one. No, forty-five on the G two. 28 to 50 on G1. They put G2 first. 45, 28 to 50. Dial set just below 50. Forty-five, twenty-eight to 50. The setting cutoff is there, which is about 80. So let me just go to 50 here, or 30. Well, I'm sure it'll produce a picture. Well, there you have it. I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, we'll use another B&K tester, perhaps.